On Wednesday, the 22nd of March, five people were killed in Westminster. The government immediately termed it a terrorist attack. Today, we took to the streets to find out how young people feel about terrorism in the UK and whether they are in support of the increased militarization of the police force in the UK. What do you guys think about what happened on Wednesday with the attacks at Westminster? I mean, what happened is devastating, of course. We've lost people, like, yeah, but. I don't like the way they blamed it on the religion and they didn't look at it as an other point of view. Like, people blame it on all Muslims, but like, it's not all Muslims, like, it's like the ISIS themselves. Yeah, it's a really bad thing happening. I feel like we're more correcting people's mind on what Islam really is, versus actually grieving for the people that have died within the attacks, rather than actually going and looking for the source of the problem. We're more like looking for a scapegoat to blame for yeah. the attack. I'm not condoning violence, but if you're going to attack a group of people, at least make sure like it's the people that are the cause of the problem or they have something to do with it. Bystanders don't have anything to do with it. So, mm -hmm. so what was your like initial reaction? How did you feel when you first found out? I was sure. It's like it's, I guess, in our own community as well. Yeah. I'm not surprised a bit. Um, my initial reaction was. Is it going to affect the Piccadilly line? I wasn't really shocked because it kind of was expected. We've always been told throughout the media, like, oh, it's going to happen. They have so how do you think the government should respond? Like, what do you um, think the government should do? They need to take security more seriously. Yeah, that's what I think as well. But, like, they can't track them all down. Yeah. So, like, it's hard for them as well. I, I just think more security, but then you're not going to really solve the actual problem, which is more radicalisation. And that's yeah. much more, like, subtle issue than just security. Because they always do this thing where um, they use it as an excuse to like tighten security, especially on the borderlines. If the government like makes people scared of Muslims, it's going to become a problem. Yeah. Like people are going to start discriminating Muslims on the street. And nobody wants that. Yeah. You know? They should like take the word terrorist out of it because like like. Terrorists are like a group of people, like Muslims and stuff, but it's not really Muslims, like no, people think it's people Islam. That's what people associate with. They should detach it. Uh, the government shouldn't label it as a terrorist attack if it's just a single person. A terrorist attack is like a planned attack, like a bombing or a, like a gunning run, something like that that's planned and premeditated with a group of people. That, that's something that terrorists do. This was just a single person who got angry, who believes in the similar ideals and did it, but he was alone, so... So do you think the media covered it, like, fairly or well? No, because people were just chatting rubbish. I think they just labelled it with terrorism and kind of yeah. scared everyone. Because it happened in London, it had, like, a really big coverage. But I feel like within the coverage, there was, like, a lot of bias. I think there was a lot of assumptions straight away. People jumped to conclusions that it was, like, Muslim terrorists. Yeah. As they always do. Yeah. I heard some Asian no. parents, Islamic big. How can you big Islamic? I'm so confused. I hear that some news outlets are saying that, that he was sporting an Islamic beard. But I don't know how you can sport an Islamic beard because does your beard pray for you or something? Like? A white man's already killed four people this week and he hasn't been called a terrorist. So the way the media dealt with it is uncalled for because, yeah, again. They're blaming the religion and the Muslim religions always look down upon when one of someone that is Muslim causes something like this. So do you trust how the media like portrays terrorism? No, of course not. But it's like everything's biased. You could go to like read news from somewhere else and then it's going to be biased and then the media yeah. might attack Islamic people. But I don't like the way it's portrayed, especially in Western media. Like they try and make it seem like, whoa, it's always Islamic people doing the same thing when it's really not the case. You don't have to be Muslim to be a terrorist. You can be white and be a terrorist as well. But they won't do it. Call you that. Yeah, they won't call you that. We have given a face to terrorism rather than having it actually being a thing. So whenever you ask anyone, like really, what is a terrorist, you really think Muslim, you think like certain things that the media has always fed you like. They twist it depending on what they believe and what their company um, stands towards. The West will always like talk, twist it in favour of them. Yeah. But they don't talk about the wrong things they've yeah. done because they've done a lot of wrong things to cause it. There's many other reasons he could have done this, okay? He could have been on drugs, he could have been unstable, like they haven't looked at all these other factors. They've just seen a religion that said, right, we're calling it terrorist attack, which is unfair because then the Muslim community, committee are now going to be the ones suffering. So, do you want to say the Muslims or the blacks? They never target the white 
Do you think that the UK should be afraid of terrorist attacks in the future? I don't want to say like afraid, but aware that there can there's going there's probably going to be more terrorist attacks and how to like protect our, the, protect the public. As a country, I don't think we should be afraid because like we shouldn't be afraid in our own country. I think we should be careful about it. But I don't think we should like live our lives in fear of an attack happening because after all, most of the attacks are like just lone wolves. Do you think it's fair to like call one of them a terrorist attack? Would you say it's a terrorist attack or? Yeah. yeah. The thing is, it was a terror attack yeah, and it didn't put terror on the people of London, people of England's hearts. Well, as the intent, if it like the intent of it was to be a terror attack. Like, to scare people, yes, it's fair to be called a terrorist attack. Not because of who committed it, but rather because it's an act of terrorising people. So um, many politicians have said, like, this is a t an attack on British values. What do you guys think about the notion of British values? And what British values? <laughs> <laughs> the British values where you still gold from Africa. Hey! Yeah, and I really think it's an attack on British values. In a, I think it's an attack on the people, but it's not like they, like... Um, this, did they destroy a building or something? No, they didn't destroy yeah, anything. That's not an attack on values then, because they didn't destroy like a monument to make it a cultural thing. I think in a way it's right, because British values incorporate the idea of having everyone has the right to their own thoughts and whatnot, and then having someone with a certain mindset wanting to silence these people, or like wanting their opinion to be heard, but like in a much more violent way than is yours to. So yeah, think, think, so vain, like, <laughs> I think everything's about them, like relax, sometimes it's not about you. <laughs> like, there's me. things that happen around other countries, but then, no, I'm not being really anything. What happened on Wednesday was deep, yeah, but like, only like five people died. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Like, people died, like, four people died in Rafa's stuff. Yeah, they did it. No, it was a bad thing, yeah, but like, they focus more on like, the small things, not the major things. In response to this, there's been a lot of discussion about police carrying more guns or the over militarization of the police. Do you think the police should be able to carry guns? Yeah, because we're just going to end up with a lot of black people on the floor. Yeah, there's gonna, we're just going to end up like America. It's going to be too much. I feel like it's going, it's going to be need when it's, it's going to be used when it's not needed, which is just going to create more um, tension between like the public and the police and fear of like the misuse of guns to protect themselves when they don't need to protect themselves. It's just going to make people scared. If you have, a, if like police are walking around with guns, people are going to feel like they need to be walking around with protection as well. Some parts of the state, they use like rubber pellets instead of guns. I don't think guns would solve anything. Having guns circulating within people would just create more violence and give us an easy way out rather than actually... Because we have like an amazing police system, so why would you need a gun to protect yourself? Do you think more guns will make people feel more or less safe? Overall, it could make people feel more safe towards terrorism, mm -hmm. but it won't make people feel more safe towards like, yeah. other crimes. Yeah, I feel like it will make white people feel safe, but black yeah. people will just be safe. We feel like America. Yeah.